Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Vehicle Research and Development Establishment VRDE Ahmednagar, a premier establishment under DRDO, is now involved in design and development of wheeled and track combat vehicles. VRDE wants to develop advanced armored platform track through industrial partners. It has released an RFP for development of AAP track and two crewless turret for AAP and its integration. The AAP or Advanced Armored Platform will be technology demonstrator, armored amphibious platform and will be integrated with 30 mm crewless turret. It will be a 25 ton class of armored amphibious platform with a medium caliber weapon station. This will have all modern features such as compact integrated 600 to 750 horsepower power pack with automatic transmission, modular ballistic protection, blast protection, IFDSS and auto NBC detection and protection system and crewless 30mm turret. It will also have provisions for integration of active protection system, interface to lotter munitions and mini UAVs. This is falling in lines with the requirement of Ministry of Defense for FICV tract released back in June 2021. The requirement was for 1750 FICVs in three categories which includes 50% gun version, 20% command version and 25% command and surveillance version. In advanced armored platform, 30mm cruise turret will be developed which will consist of 30mm main gun, 7.62mm coaxial gun, anti-tank guided missile launchers, gunner sight, commander panoramic sight, fire control system, smoke grenade launchers and remote control weapon stations with NSVT 12.7mm machine gun. The AAP will have length of 7.5 meters, width of 3.6 meter and height of 3.7 meters including RCWS and weighing close to 25 tons. It will have minimum cruising range of 400 km on road and 300 km in cross country. The vehicle will have on road speed greater than 75 km per hour and cross country speed greater than 35 km per hour. It will have amphibian flotation capability with speed of 8 km per hour in waters. It will feature ultra high strength steel of suitable thickness as base armor. On top of that, it will have modular composite ballistic and blast protection. It will have Stenag level 4 all round, frontal Stenag 5, Bailey Stenag level 3B blast protection and glasses will have Stenag level 2 protection. It will be powered by 600 to 750 horsepower diesel liquid cooled compact engine in integrated power pack configuration. The weapon station for AP will be crewless turret. The commander will perform the role of battlefield observer whereas the gunner actually engages the target acquired by him or designated by the commander. The commander can take the override control from gunner. Both commander and gunner will have separate control and display panels with man-machine interface. The weapon laying and firing is to be done through both control panels of gunner as well as commander. A particular weapon will be selected through mode selection by the operator. Both the commander and gunner will have separate sighting system which will be included in CCD and TI based night vision. In crewless turret, the operation of gunner and commander is to be performed by crew in the hull who will provide the identical controls and interfaces as of conventional two-man power operated turret. The crewless turret will be a frame structure with UHSS backing plate. The entire structure will house five components which includes 30mm 2A42 main gun on a mount, 7.62 PKT MMG on a coaxial cradle, anti-tech guided missile twin missile launcher 
with two ready to fire missiles with stabilized electromechanical drives for elevation slaved to gunner side or commander panoramic side and coupled to the main fire control system fourth is remote control weapon station for 12.7 mm nsvt with independent stabilized drives sighting system and feed system and last is the feed system for main gun and the machine gun this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector